I get so many questions about my hair care and styling routine. So today I am taking you start to finish through my entire hair care routine, the products I use and what I do to achieve this look. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I'm here to help you understand your skin and hair and find products that work for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm not gonna lie, I find doing my hair a little bit of a tedious and annoying process and I probably only do my hair start to finish two times a week. I only wash my hair about two times a week and I 100% focus when I wash my hair based on my workout schedule. Hopefully I'm not alone in this, but I haven't washed my hair in four days. So we'll take it out. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So a little oily at the roots, slept in it. You can kind of see, maybe you could extend it another day, but this, this needs help. I would say that about every three weeks or so, I do an Olaplex number three treatment to my hair. And I get a lot of questions about this on both Instagram and on YouTube. So I thought I would actually show you how I use this. Again, this is not what I do for every single hair wash, but this helps strengthen my hair, helps make it a little bit shinier, especially because I bleach my hair every four to six months or so. It's going to be a little bit more prone to damage. So anything I can do to support my hair and make it a little bit stronger, I wanna do that. So Olaplex number three should be applied to unwashed, damp hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my hair wet, towel dry it, and then I'll start applying and I'll show you when I get to that part. Okay, so all I did was put my head under the sink, get my hair wet, wring it out, put it up in a towel for just a few minutes to get some of that excess moisture out. Of course, you could pop into your shower and get your hair wet that way, but the sink felt easier. So now we're gonna Take it out of the towel and just sort of rake through with my fingertips. I really try to avoid putting a brush or even a comb through wet hair. Wet hair is just so much more fragile. And if you can avoid that, the better. I'm not trying to get every single tangle out here, but just so that it's easier to divide up when I go to put my Olaplex treatment on, I'm gonna rake through a bit. All right, so now hair is wet, towel dried, ready for Olaplex. This treatment really should be applied roots to tips, and the easiest way to do that is to section off the hair, at least for me. So I split it into two, and then I'll split it again into like a lower section and an upper section, and we'll just clip that upper section away. And I will kind of work the Olaplex serum through this section first, then I'll drop this section down, work it through, and then do the same thing on the other side, almost at the end of the bottle. So for each section, probably using about a good quarter sized amount and just raking through roots to ends. And when that section is thoroughly coated, I will drop down my next section of hair, grab more, same amount, do the same thing. I think whenever you're using a product like this, it's actually really important to make sure you're using enough of the product or what the manufacturer recommends. I feel like sometimes when people aren't getting what they want out of their hair treatment or even out of their skincare treatment, it's because they're using the wrong amount of product or they're applying it incorrectly. So read all of the instructions from whoever's producing it. So the Olaplex has been applied to all of my hair, roots to ends. And the recommendation is to leave it in for a minimum of 10 minutes. I'm gonna go do my workout now. So this is what I like to do. Put my Olaplex treatment in and then have it sort of soak in while I'm working out. So that'll probably be about 45 minutes to an hour. So I just put it up in a little clip while I'm exercising. Afterward, I can pop in the shower, do my shampoo and conditioner and continue on with the rest of my routine. So I'm gonna go do my Peloton and I'll meet you back here after. Workout is done. I am nice and sweaty and rosy. I'm gonna take my hair down, pop in the shower, rinse out the Olaplex, and then do my shampoo and my conditioner. I am not like a diehard fan of any one particular shampoo and conditioner, but I definitely have a handful that I kind of alternate or cycle through, really just kind of depending on my mood and what scent I'm going for and how I plan on styling my hair. So today I'm gonna to use my Orbe shampoo and conditioner. This is the Brilliance and Shine pair. I love the smell. I feel like it makes my hair look Look really good and shiny without weighing it down and so that's why I keep going back to this one. Since I will not be taking you in the shower with me, just to kind of review my shampooing and conditioning strategy. One, I think of shampoo really as a scalp wash. It is there to help remove any excess residue or flakiness or oils from your scalp so I really focus it at my roots and then yes I let it run over the rest of my hair but it's 
really focused on my scalp and towards the base of my hair shaft. And then with my conditioner, it's the opposite. I try to apply it just from ears down with the goal being to just condition and nourish the ends and sort of leave the roots where a lot of my natural hair oils will build up anyway alone. I do like to let my conditioner sit on my hair for about two to three minutes. So while it's soaking in, I'll shave my legs or exfoliate my body. Once the conditioner is in, I will finger comb through my hair just to break up any big tangles. I rinse that out and I'm done. I'm gonna pop in the shower now and I will meet you back here after. Afterward. I am done with my shower. It's, it's a little steamy in here. I have wrung any additional water out of my hair and then put it up in this Aquis microfiber hair towel. I love these towels because they really pull excess water out of the hair faster. So it not only helps you dry your hair more quickly, but it's very gentle on the hair because it's so light. So it's not tugging on the hair shafts while they're wet and more delicate. While this is drying, I'm going to do my makeup, do my skincare, all that good stuff. Hair has been drying for about 20, 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can see I did my makeup. I have a whole tutorial on this makeup on my YouTube channel if you're interested. So now I just go to kind of take my hair out. Again, finger combing. So no brushes on my hair, just to kind of get through some of the tangles. And now I'm going to go in and put my two styling products in. I feel like there's a lot of conflicting information out there in terms of what order to apply your hair styling products. I have found that what works best for me is to apply my heat protectant first to my hair and then go in with any additional styling products products after that. So my heat protectant that I'm going to use today is by Kerastase. It's this one, the Blonde Absolute. One squirt, so about a dime sized amount. I will rub it between my palms to fully distribute it. And then I will start on sort of mid shaft to ends, breaking through all the way to the ends of my hair. And then any additional product that I have, I will kind of just run loosely up through the top parts of my hair. You know, all hair needs to be protected from heat. So I do want the product everywhere, but I think the majority of it, I focus sort of ears down fashion. So I'll just keep rubbing that in for a second. Once my heat protectant is fully distributed in my hair, I then often will go in with a thickening product to add a little bit of volume and even just a little bit of grip to my hair. So the the one I really love is the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. You really don't need a lot of this product. I use about a dime sized amount for all of my hair. Again, distribute through full palms, rake through mid lengths to ends only, not on the roots. So most of the product is sitting on my fingertips getting distributed through my hair. And then when I need more, I kind of like push it up off of my palms onto my fingertips and then add, add more. Once both of these products have been fully distributed in my hair, I'll let my hair sit for another couple minutes minutes and then I'm gonna blow dry. The reality of my blow drying strategy is that I just wanna get my hair dry as fast as possible. I do not have the patience, nor the skill, nor like the upper body strength to give myself a blowout. So my goal is just to get my hair dry and then I can go in with my other heat styling tools like my straightener or my curling iron, depending on what style I want for the day to sort of smooth everything out and perfect everything. I moved to a different part of my bathroom because I needed to be closer to an outlet to actually blow dry my hair. The blow dryer that I use is this one. It's it's called Trezoro 9300 Ionic Systems. It is nothing fancy, got it off of Amazon. It's very powerful though, so it has a really strong stream, which is why I like it so much. And then it has three heat settings, so low, medium, and high. So that's really the most important things to me is like, how fast does it blow out air? And can I turn the temperature up or down? So to blow dry, I'm gonna turn the speed setting all the way up to high, so it's blowing out as fast as possible. I'm going to turn the heat setting to medium, and then I'm gonna use that kind of combo to get my hair about 90% dry, just kind of raking again my fingers through my hair to do that. So at this point, my hair is almost dry. You can see I'm sort of like tossing my hair back and forth, blow drying from the underside, blow drying from the top side. Sometimes I'll even flip my head over and blow dry that way. And then just for this last like five to 10% of moisture, I will go in now with a hairbrush just to like smooth things out a little bit, especially in the front where I have a bunch of like calyx up in here so that my hair isn't just totally crazy when I go to heat style it. The brush I'm going to use is my vented wet brush. And then I have attached the nozzle attachment to my blow dryer now so that there's just a little bit more of a targeted directional airflow coming out of my blow dryer. I like to section my hair off to do this last little bit. So you can see my hair is like almost completely dry. This is just like final touches. So I've taken about two thirds of my hair, pinned it up, and then we'll just sort of blow dry these bottom sections.
I really like to take the front parts of my hair and kind of brush them down and forward just to kind of pull down on any calyx and make sure the hair in the front is going to lie flat. Okay, so hair is totally 100% dry now. As you can see, like this would not be a good way to like wear your hair out blow dry. Like it's still frizzy, it just doesn't have any moisture in it. So now I'm ready to go in with my curling iron and really tame this into its final style. While it's heating up, I'll just show you what I'm gonna be using. A lot of you asked me to show you a tutorial of how I use my two inch curling iron to sort of give like a fake blowout look. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is a huge curling iron, but it is like, it's the best thing ever. When I am heat styling my hair, I like to do one side completely and then the other. So I usually just divide it in the back into two sides and then we'll grab a little scrunchie here, keep this separate. And then I'm gonna work in layers. So I'm gonna sort of section my hair underneath my ear and just pin this top part up and clip it up and out of the way. I think one of the best parts about working with a bigger curling iron is you can take bigger sections of hair. So for me to do my entire head with this curling iron takes under five minutes. So I'm gonna take my little piece, brush through it, make sure there's no tangles. The last thing you wanna do is <laughs> like heat style a knot into your hair. Take my curling iron, open up the clamp, and the clamp is like facing towards you guys. Grab it here and just twist away. And then we'll just hold it for a little bit. You do not need to hold it very long because my goal is really not to curl my hair with this. It's really just to kind of smooth everything and straighten everything out. And then you just pull out. You just get like a little soft bend in the hair and I'm not gonna rake through it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna go on and keep doing more sections of my hair. So now I'm just gonna take another section. You can kind of section however you want depending on how thick your hair is. I usually do like three three main sections. Again, we're gonna brush through, make sure there's no knots. I'm gonna divide this into like three sections to curl. So I'll take this back section first. It's all the same. I'm curling in the same direction the entire time, which is away from my face. Grab another piece, clamp, turn, and we'll just keep going through like that. All right, this side done, this side not done. And you can just see like how much shinier this side looks and flatter and less frizzy. And then eventually we'll rake these all out. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now the entire head has been curled or waved, but this is not really gonna like hold any type of real curl. And I don't expect it to. Again, we're just trying to provide some shine and smoothness to everything. So I'm gonna let everything completely cool down so that it's not warm to the touch at all. And then I'll go in with final styling. All right, for final styling, I moved the camera back to a part of my bathroom that has slightly better lighting, but all of my curls have now dried, or not dried, but cooled down. And that is what the hair looks like. So it's ready to go. If there was any little bits of frizz, then I would take my Virtue Healing Oil, which is my favorite hair oil of the moment. And I might even just do a little bit now. You really don't need a lot, like two or three drops total. And just kind of run it through the ends here. Plus it smells amazing. And that is it. And that is how I take my hair from messy, oily, green, and just sort of revive it and it's ready to go. This style is like my base hairstyle. And then after that, I can add in like more defined curls if I want to, I can put it into an updo, but this is sort of like the basis for all of my hairstyling. Thank you so much for joining me. If you learned something or you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If there are any hair products that you think I should try out in my routine, put it in the comments below because I'm always looking to try new things. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.